winning with staking. You want to know the last information about Lido and other stakings. You want to know how to make that passive income. You want to know the last information about the crypto world, meme coins, etc., Bitcoin predictions, and much more. Yes, then smash that like button because it's time for Crypto News Fun on the Right Crypto app. Stop it. Today, we start with a piece of information that Lido is there already. Lido Finance now allowing withdrawals uh, after Ethereum uh, version 2. So it's not a small thing. Uh, over 6.1 million Ethereum valued approximately 12 billion are staked on Ethereum via Lido. Starting today, STETH holders can initiate a withdrawal request. Uh, you have to consider that this process has two parts. One is requesting uh, the withdrawal, and then after that, you have to do the claim. So at first, Lido is going to help uh, quicker individual withdrawals from a withdrawal vault where they have like 270,000 Ethereum, approximately $490 million in that vault. Uh, that's going to avoid for them a long process for that exit of the, uh, of the pools. 500K worth of STETH redeemed in three hours after Lido enabled those withdrawals. So you can go to Lido and do that or also maybe you follow our video. If that's the case, you have to do it from Ledger Live. Uh, you now will see on Ledger that you have this new uh, bottom. It's withdrawals. Uh, if you want to see the rewards we had, well, it's not a small thing. It's $177 right now. So you could uh, take those rewards and withdrawal them. Uh, we can go there and show uh, those rewards. I can copy that amount. Then I'll go to withdrawals. And as I was telling you, this has two parts, the request and then the claim. So as I don't want to take everything out, I might use just the amount of the rewards. And now you can choose uh, waiting one to two days for that claim to be done or using an aggregator, it will be faster, but you'll get less because of the commissions there. Also consider the uh, commissions that you might have doing that. So in my case, I have no uh, clue what you should do. I'm not expert. Uh, this is not financial advice, but I'm not doing anything because I prefer uh, those uh, Ethereum there to keep on creating more and more rewards for the future. Also, the commission is so high that it's not really interesting. If you want to use one of those devices, the Ledger devices, now they have a promotion where you'll find free shipping for them. Link in the description. Uh, you have the channel if you use those links. What happened with the price for Lido? Well, it's going up in the last hours, and this is the historic chart for it. So maybe good things. Here you have the STETH. You can see the difference in price for uh, Ethereum token. So maybe some arbitrage opportunities there. And what will hold the future for Lido? We'll see. Uh, remember that right now with Ethereum 2.0 in the smart contract, uh, you have to withdraw well, 32 uh, of those and the rewards. You can have just the rewards. You need the 32. So Lido is still a good opportunity. But Rocket Pool, which is uh, giving similar service, uh, is not going good for the price of Rocket Pool today. And I wonder why. Maybe because of that rivalry? Could be. And also, you have to consider that in the future, they're going to have uh, new things on Lido Finance version 2. The staking router enables new types of node operations on Lido, ranging from solo stakers to DAOs that may run validators either independently or in collaboration through infrastructure like uh, DVT. 
The staking router is expected to considerably booster the decentralization of the network. So maybe we can create uh, our own pool with our friends from stakely.io. We have to ask them as we have our pool with Cardano. This is another crypto project where you can earn some of those income, uh, passive income, and maybe achieve in the future the freedom uh, economic freedom that would be so awesome so thank you everybody delegating with us in cardano on the right fanon if you have some adas come with us and let's consider how it's going to affect all this the price for ethereum and you can see we went to our lines our predictions and now we're going up and price is going up even though maybe as uh, now the withdrawals are open, we can put some uh, sell pressure in the market as we expected when Ethereum 2.0 was released. But remember at some at that point, precisely price for Ethereum went up and the narrative was that, uh, well, now that we are sure this works, then uh, more and more people come into it. So maybe it's the same narrative for Lido today, like us. Uh, now everybody is more confident that it works and you can withdraw your money anytime you want. Then uh, they are putting the money there. We'll see about that. Consider also that Celsius is moving $681 million on STETH because they had it there. And now that the deposits are open, they are having that money. With luck for the users that lost all that money with Celsius. We'll see about that in the future. And also let's talk about assembly, IOTA, and that is taking row five. It's over today. So now we are waiting to see when round six is open. We can make also some money with assembly, with IOTA, with Shimmer. Here you have the website for assembly and be careful uh, with the tokens. Remember, here you have the roadmap, etc. And you can see there that there is not still mined for assembly. So there's no token up there. We are like staking uh, and getting some of those rewards, but those are not in mined. So the token doesn't really exist per se right now. So be careful if you go uh, to Dex tools. Uh, the only site where you can control all this crazy stuff and you find a token called ASMV. Uh, remember to check uh, the score. This is no uh, viable. This has no viability. So do not be tricked into buying some of this crazy stuff. Also, you can go to CoinGecko and see that it's not listed that token still because it doesn't exist. And be careful even uh, with uh, AI, because you may go to AI, uh, I'm using Edge, I'm using Bing, and I went there and asked AI if we have that token released already, and uh, it said it is, but it's not, because it's just relating uh, with that um, staking process. And also, more concerning, it told me that you can buy it, that token, in some of these crazy places. So be careful where you go. I just trust Dex tools and you can see they give you a bad score and they will uh, tell you that it smells fishy. The token SMR, it is, uh, yes, buyable. You can buy uh, that one. That's cool. Uh, just let me uh, take this off for you. We're done with that. And here you can see the chart uh, for uh, SMR. This is the max. And uh, consider that today we are going to an end of the treasure of Shimer. Uh, the other way you had to take uh, to have those uh, rewards. Uh, so we'll see if they open a new way maybe on Firefly as we did the last time, just the last hours. I didn't participate in this one because it's more work to do, but we'll see the next thing. Uh, if you go uh, to the price, uh, you can see that you've earned some money. I did. So hopefully you did too. So what about IOTA? Is IOTA going uh, just changing gears, talking from something that is not staking, but 
a good projects to accumulate right now in the crypto winter. Maybe IOTA and those uh, tokens from IOTA, Assembly and Shimmer are those a good opportunity in the bear market? Well, this is today a speculation. Remember, I'm not expert. Do not take this as financial advice, but you can see that IOTA, that is the project for Internet of Things. Uh, I like it. I consider this has a uh, value for the future. And you can see that we are almost in the best price ever for IOTA. So if you thought in 2017 it was too late for you, we are in 2023 and it's still at the same price. So you may buy it here. Uh, follow IOTA to see if you like it or no. Do your own due diligence. And let's consider this. Are there other coins like IOTA that maybe those are a golden opportunity right now in the bear market? Well, we go to Messary.io. Uh, I went to customize and I create these things. 10 from all time high, down from all time high, time since low, up since low. And you can see like so awesome projects like, for example, Bitcoin is down 60 percent. IOTA is down. Uh, sorry, Ethereum is down. 63%. Uh, there you have Cardano. It's down 88%. So if you trust in Cardano, well, it's so low right now from its peak. If you consider it's going to go back to its peak, uh, you have a great uh, way there. Dogecoin, the king of the memes, or maybe not, maybe it's Pepe now. Well, it's down 90%. So if you think it's going to go back to all-time highs, you have a long run there. Also, Polygon Matic, nice project with 70% drop. Litecoin, 78 down. Chai Link, 87 down. And so on. You can find the ones you believe that are the good ones. And maybe you don't have to speculate. The Central Land, for example, is 91.84. Uh, and Tezos is 90%. So very good projects, uh, in my opinion, uh, remember, no financial advice, but maybe you don't have to speculate with meme coins. And in this crypto winter, you should accumulate maybe some of those better projects that are really, really down. If you want more information about this, go to all our videos in the channel. Do not miss any of those we told you about these tokens in the past. And today we talk also about XRP. Maybe it's one of those uh, golden opportunities. Uh, maybe you don't like XRP. Uh, me don't really like it, but it's down 87%. And we have more and more rumors that uh, the trial is going to get to an end and the price might go up 800% according to some analysts. Here you can see the chart he's using. You can also see uh, the RSI there. And maybe we broke this line eventually. This is a weekly chart. And he projects a rise, parabolic rise, up to $3.82, which is crazy. We might make finally some money with this token. We'll see about that. Bitcoin today going up three green candles in a row and some people optimistic right now like Michael van der Poop telling us that we might go with this way with this path to $38,000 $48,000 crypto prof telling us that yes also the same with this uh, MACD and these um, uh, patterns we might go <clears throat> to uh, to higher highs like $35,000 touching the 100 SMA line. So many things telling us that we might go up, but I don't really think so, because now we are in a very, very strategic point, crucial point for dollar with this line, fetish line for the dollar, and also this one with previous highs. So maybe now dollar bounces here and goes up, then crypto space and stock market will go up down. In the good side, we're still going through this red path that we draw, consider the uh, rates in the United States and those rises. But remember, we still have uh, some patterns telling us that we might go to $25,000, $20,000. And also we have 
those gaps, one in 26,400, so close. So we'll see if we go to fill the upper ones of the ones we have uh, below us. Litecoin, maybe good piece of information today. Maybe it's starting to go where it should be uh, before the halving. We'll see about that. And maybe it's time for accumulating not just uh, good uh, projects, but also any some altcoins there. This is uh, Michael Van de Pop's theory. He's telling us that he believes altcoins are behaving as behaving as they did in 2019. Remember, we are comparing from time to time uh, this uh, pre-election year in United States when with the one we had in 2019. And what happened with altcoins? Here you have the chart of dominance, and you can see that from here to August would have been a very, very good moment for buying those tilings, those XRPs, etc., etc. All those that are not Bitcoin. Right now, Bitcoin is going to keep being the best in dominance. But at that point, uh, from here to August and some point, it might change, and uh, those altcoins might have a crazy rally. This is the chart comparing right now the market cap of the altcoins, no Bitcoin here, and it's uh, just telling us the dominance of those coins. So you can see that, yeah, it's the moment for accumulating till Bitcoin starts decreasing on that dominance and the altcoins start dominating. But maybe you believe we are not following the path of 2019 anymore. We'll see about that. The market is in the red, the bubbles are in the red, but Lido and the worst, of course, is Pepe and Rocket Pool again today. So do you fear the market? It's neutral, but we have some concerns. Those come from United States. Total US household debt rises by $148 billion in the first quarter of 2023 to a total of 17 trillion. This is the first time in history that total US household debt has crossed 17 trillion. Consumers running out of money using debt to fight inflation. What can go wrong, right? And what's going on with CZ and Elon Musk? They are mad. CZ is not following Elon Musk anymore on Twitter. Elon Musk, our favorite troll, that now is talking about Pepe using it in one of uh, its tweets. Uh, the First Amendment is for sharing memes with friends, and he uses a Pepe friend uh, meme. And the second amendment is for uh, when they try and stop me for sharing memes with friends. So crazy. Elon Musk trying to pump Pepe now. Uh, anyways, it's not working. So it seems that uh, it works just for Elon Musk uh, when he talks about Dogecoin. Here you have with Dick's tools, link in the description, uh, that Pepe chart. And again, we are so close to breaking this triangle in line. What's going to happen right now? Good opportunity or the worst moment for buying Pepe will tell you in next uh, crypto news. But you have to know that a trader who printed nearly 50x gains on Pepe is reaccumulating over $2 million worth of the meme coin. Crazy buying that amount of a meme coin. That's speculating, that's gambling, a uh, crazy style. And what's going on in the meme sphere? Remember, we had those uh, NFTs now uh, in Bitcoin and they're the memes. And uh, then we told you about Litecoin and the same protocol and the memes. And now we have the same thing on Dogecoin. Daily Dogecoin transactions briefly beat Bitcoin after DRC20 token bark. So we have a new protocol and we have duplicated again the whole thing, the DeFi, the NFTs and etc. Not just in Bitcoin, not just in many protocols in Bitcoin, not just in Litecoin, but now also in Dogecoin. Of course, Ethereum and all the Ethereum killers, Cardano, etc, etc. This is crazy. As crazy as if Elon Musk says that Soros reminds him of Magneto. Well, you go there uh, 
to uh, Dextrus. You see that Elon Musk has more influence than Shakira when she has a new song. And you can see there that you have the token already called Magneto. Be careful. It's a score just with a one. And our friends from Dextool telling us that potentially you won't be able even or selling your tokens if you buy this. So be very careful. But anytime uh, Elon Musk or Shakira say something, uh, they create a revolution, as you can see. And we are following all the time now with Chico Crypto telling us that we are going to have not just all those NFTs on Bitcoin, but also airdrops on Airdrop Bitcoin. confirmed for Oshi holders before May 6th. Oh my, oh my, we're going to have now the airdrop fever of Bitcoin, Litecoin, and Dogecoin too. That's too much. Total DeFi ecosystem between 40 and 50 billion. And good news from our partners on Bitbase. They have a new ATM in Parque Corridor uh, in Madrid that they believe is going to be uh, crypto capital for 2013. <clears throat> and also... Uh, they have a new ATM on Ibiza, San Antonio, in the Hostel Amistad. So you can go there and buy and sell your cryptos. You have also in Melilla the ATM 110 for BitBase. So congratulations on that. You can also go to their site, bitbase.es, and buy there and also learn there where you have the stores and the ATMs, and soon enough, you're going to have their um, cell phone, their phone app. So we will tell you about it in the future. Do not miss any of our videos. Remember, we have a draw for TradingView, so you have the link in the description. You might earn a Pro Plus, which is awesome for creating all those lines and alerts and etc. etc. And now let's talk about technology. WhatsApp now is going to allow you to have passwords in some of your chats. So maybe you don't want your uh, significant other to know you are talking to somebody else. You can now use a password. And about AI, we told you in AI News or iWise, just follow us on Twitter. And you can see that now Amazon is getting all in into ChatGPT. Now they are going to improve their sales, uh, the logistic, and you'll have your packages more efficiently uh, delivered. So cool. Also consider from uh, AI news that it's changing the world of crypto trading. We have all those bots now. They can consider a lot of data. They can consider also uh, the news. They can consider uh, how to deal with risks. Also, they have no uh, psychology uh, bias. So very, very interesting. But be careful with those because also there's going to be there a crazy amount of scams and those bots may not work. So be careful with that. Everybody is scammed in this crypto world. Do not be scam yourself. Manu is telling us that his bot with AI is failing, just buying and buying and buying Bitcoin. So be careful with that. And consider that OpenAI is uh, getting ready for the launch of an open code AI model. We'll see about that. And also consider that at the beginning of June, we are going to have the glasses from Apple for the uh, metaverse. So we'll see if tokens like um, the Sandbox, the Central Land, over the reality, they might go up. We will tell you here on Fun on the Right, where we tell you today about some cool stuff in the animal world. You can see here a human behaving with this uh, crazy animal. It seems uh, to be a monkey, but it's not. I don't know the name of this animal. And uh, its mommy can't believe that a human it's helping actually, but it is. So, so uh, satisfaction helping uh, the week go up there and do that today. And you'll feel awesome as this guy. And we found this crazy cat. We have found this story, this TV series with the banana cat. We need a watermelon cat, but this is super banana cat. It can go 
uh, so big and cry and save the day. What is this? Is this AI generated? We are in a crazy world now with Banana Cat. We love you. We also love Spider Cat. Here you can see it climbing from this box, making it out to its freedom. Congratulations to Spider Cat. And what about friendship? Here you have a dog and a dog. And those are friends. So maybe a frog and a dogecoin can be friends too. Maybe so. What about here your mommy when you are late coming back home? She's so mad. Be careful with she. Beware of your mommy when she's mad. And what about this happy bear? Oh my God. Here I found some water and I'm just having a blast. As you should Let's forget about crypto. Let's enjoy our family, our friends, as this couple are doing right now. And we will tell you everything about the staking and other stuff. If you want to learn Spanish in Spanish, in our primary channel, Fun on the Right. If you want it in English, then go to Crypto News, Fun on the Right. And if you want to support the channel, remember to smash that like button. And also, if you want to be uh, people supporting more the channel, you have the possibility on YouTube on joining our channel with some money and that will help us. So thank you very much. Fun on the right crypto news, health, money, love, party in peace, and the best is yet to come. To the moon!